Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. The binomial probability distribution is a discrete probability distribution. And we can find the probability of an event given in a question by using the binomial distribution function only if the experiment given in that question satisfies four properties. The experiment has fixed number of repeated trials. There will be a finite number of repeated trials. For example, there will be 10 repeated trials, 20 or 100 repeated trials. Each trial has only two possible outcomes. One is called success, we denote it by S. The other failure, we denote it by F. Just like if we toss a coin, there are only two possible outcomes, head or tail. A person is dead or alive. The COVID-19 test is positive or negative. Each trial has same probability of success. The probability of success is denoted by small p and the probability of failure by q, which is equal to one minus p. Just like the probability of getting a head if we toss a coin again and again is one over two, which is fixed for each trial. All trials are independent from each other. If we get a head when tossing a coin for the first time, it does not affect getting head or not getting head when we toss the coin for the second time. So the trials are independent from each other. If a question satisfies these four properties, then we can use the binomial probability distribution function f of x is equal to ncx p power x q power n minus x to find the probability of different events. Here in this question, n is the total number of trials, p is the total number of success, x is the total number of success, which must be 0, 1, 2, or n, p is the probability of success, and q is the probability of failure. Here, ncx shows combination of x elements from n elements. And it is defined by n factorial divided by n minus x factorial into x factorial. Let us solve an example. A person fires six times. The probability that he can hit a target is one over three. Find the probability that he can hit the target exactly two times, more than four times, at least one time. We can find these three types of probabilities by using the binomial probability distribution function if this question satisfies the mentioned four properties. We can see that there are fixed repeated six fires. So n is equal to six is fixed. The first condition is satisfied. The probability of success is same, which is one over three for each trial. And each trial has only two possible outcomes. He can hit a target, which is a success. He cannot hit a target, which is a failure. If he hit a target for the first time, it does not affect hitting the target for the second time. So there, all the trials are independent from each other. Therefore, we can use the binomial distribution function. Now, n is equal to six is given and x is equal to 0 to 6. 
this is number of success he can hit the target just zero time one time two three four or five time probability of success is given which is one over three probability of failure q can be obtained by one minus p which is two by three and the binomial probability function here is ncx p power x q power n minus x let us substitute the value of p which is 1 over 3 q which is 2 over 3 n which is 6 now we can find the probability of the first event that he can hit a target exactly two times which means we have to find probability of x is equal to 2 or f of 2 to find f of 2 just put x is equal to 2 in this formula and we get this thing now 6 minus 4 2 is 4 and 6 c2 means 6 factorial divided by 6 minus 2 factorial into 2 factorial or use calculator and do some simplification to get f of 2 is equal to 0 0.33 if we multiply it with 100, then the probability that he can hit a target exactly two times is 33%. To find the probability that he hits the target more than four times means we have to find probability of x greater than four, which is equal to f of five plus f of six. Now, to find probability of x is equal to 5, just put x is equal to 5 in this formula and we get this thing. Plus, to find probability of x is equal to 6, we need to put 6 in this formula. And now, just simplification will give you the required result, which is probability of x greater than 4 is equal to 0 0.02. Multiplying with 100, we can obtain that the probability of hitting a target more than 4 times is just 2%. To find the probability that he hits a target at least one time, it means we have to find probability of x greater than or equal to one time and to find probability of x greater than or equal to one time this is equal to one minus probability of x less than one so less than one is only one number x is equal to zero because x here is zero one two three four six up to six now to find probability of x is equal to zero just substitute x is equal to zero in this formula and after simplification, we get the probability of x greater than or equal to 1 is 0 0.91. Multiplying with 100, we can obtain that the probability of hitting a target at least one time is 91%. The mean of binomial distribution mu is equal to NP which means to find the mean of binomial distribution, we need the probability of success and number of fixed repeated trials. To find the variance, we use this formula, sigma square is equal to NPQ. So now we need the value of failure too. And we know that the standard deviation can be obtained by taking the positive square root of the variance. Let us solve an example. Find the mean, variance, and standard deviation of binomial probability distribution given in question number one. In question number one, P is 1 over 3, Q is 2 by 3, n is equal to 6. So using mu is equal to np and substituting n is equal to 6, p is equal to 1 over 3, we get that the mean is equal to 2.
To find the variance, we substitute the value of n, which is six, the value of p, which is one over three, the value of q, which is two by three. And after simplification, we get four by three. To find the standard deviation, we just take the positive square root and we get that sigma is equal to two over under root three. That's all.